In the previous episode of the Rexham career mode, we signed some nice talents in Kobe Mino. I really hope he's gonna develop really, really nice at the club. And of course, we also managed to play three games. Sadly, was two, but the one that we win, man, Merlin was unreal. Merlin, to Merlin, to Merlin! Let's go! Let's go! And I also ask you which player should we actually go for. We do have 3 million to spend. So later in the episode, we're going to discuss your comments. But now, now we're going to start in the league too, man. And I really hope we can pick up some points because we're currently 17 with only 3 points. And we're going to face Leighton Orient at our stadium. So let's hope here we can get our first win for the episode. On Tozer, defend, defend. No, Tozer get passed. But nice. O'Connell, good tackle here. I really hope that the owners are happy with our performance in the first episode, man. Like three games, only one win, two losses. Not the great start of the season of League 2, but maybe we need some time. And of course, in today's episode with the new additions we're going to make, I really hope that they can actually improve the team and we can actually start performing better and better every single time. What a pass. O'Connor. O'Connor. No. Very, very good save. Almer here to Mullin. Now Mullin, now Mullin with some space. Oh, oh, this should have been a foul, man. Like 100% a foul here versus Mullin, in my opinion. Tywar, Tywar with some space. Tywar with some space. Whoa, -ho -ho, what a goal, what a goal from our 16-year boy from the academy. Tywar, let's go. Now, this will bring a lot of fans to our stadium, man. This can be probably in the highlights of one of the big televisions. What a goal from the young boy, man. Maybe we got the new Wayne Rooney in his... Like, this is going to be unreal if we manage to develop him to 90 plus by the end of this Wrexham career mode. Ooh, ooh, nice Ben Foster. Ben Foster is really having a good game so far. He hasn't really, like made some stupid mistakes or something, which is honestly really good. The previous game he didn't show me that he's that good of a goalkeeper but so far in this game he's honestly proving me wrong every single time tyler can he repeat that tyler tyler oh <laughs> this time was a bad decision and our players are so tired right now it's honestly super difficult to compete in the league too bro honestly this is so tough look how tired they are man good that the other team is not that great so that's why we managed actually to keep so far a clean sheet but gonna be tough it is gonna be for sure tough but hey this was the aim and you wanted that so i really hope you actually enjoy it of course if you enjoy it leave a like guys and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already can we actually achieve 100 likes on this episode this is gonna be unreal they're pushing man Leighton and orion are definitely pushing our players are getting tired and tired with every single minute so i really hope we can actually survive by the end of this game or actually extend our league this is also a nice option but probably we need to actually defend. And now it's dangerous. Oh, now it's very, very dangerous. Tozer, if you can catch him, foul him, bro. Foul him if you can catch him. No. Bad defending from our captain. Nice, Ben Foster. Woo. Maybe we're going to get our first win for the episode, guys. Maybe, maybe we're going to get it. Let's just pass here to the right wing back and this is going to be enough. Let's go. Let's go. Your first suggestions for today's video is actually going to be from this guy, Football, and he's giving me the idea of signing this Cole McCovat, I think he's pronounced. And, and he actually wrote that this guy was a free agent, but maybe Arsenal de Sarandi signed him because he's currently not a free agent. His current market value is 800k, a little bit too much for the Center me to be honest with you like based on the fact we do have only three million to spend so maybe we're not gonna go for kawam mccovat next game is gonna be versus gillingham so i really hope here we can actually grab a win because we definitely need so yes yes 2-1 win come on versus gillingham we move we move we're on a streak right now next suggestion is gonna be from spiridon and he's giving me the idea of actually signing this aleni yoro and we definitely need a center back so maybe this can be a good move he's currently 60 seven overall and his market value is 1.9 million but the player is not willing to relocate man this is gonna be so difficult to sign anyone basically right now so maybe we need to rely on free agents or just on our scouts because we cannot sign anyone right now bro last suggestion is gonna be for Luis ho he's currently 61 overall from chelsea his market value is only 700k but if we want to get him we need to pay his release clause and i really really don't want to do that so let's just try here one with an option to buy and we're just gonna try here short short term basically 
and okay they want one year i'm down with it to be honest with you let's try to here to negotiate some 50 50 maybe are we gonna be down with it yes and how much should we actually offer for him 800k maybe chelsea what are you gonna say okay we do have a deal so maybe we can actually make him a new signing by the end of the, the season or by the beginning of next one he's only 61 overall so let's see how he's gonna fit at the squad i really don't think that we can sign anyone because just the player don't want to go to the second league in football and i, I totally understand them so i do believe with the three million we do have i want to actually spend them on a really really good scout so maybe we can actually go for this guy who is probably gonna be semi-decent like he five four star experience uh, and four star judgment is not that bad compared to the other scout that we do have but now we cannot actually hire this guy which is probably super sad because i really wanted him so maybe maybe we can actually rely on these two scouts and this guy let's just put him in wales why just not man i do believe that there they can find some nice talent so we're actually gonna try to improve the team through our academy i really hope that this is a good way for us actually to improve it so let's see what type of talents our scouts are gonna find next on the board is gonna be Tranmere Rovers and they're currently 15 so here I really hope at least for a draw or maybe for a win yes 2-0 Tyler Tyler is so good and just with picking three wins look where we stand man we're currently fourth in the league too and now we're gonna face the seventh wall so in this game we're gonna play because this team is a little bit dangerous to me and look at our squad man there tired for this game sadly we're gonna be without our young talent tyler so i really hope that this will not cost us the game but we're gonna rely on the other talent that we do have in the academy and of course i'm speaking about them here oh, Mullin, give it to Mullin, give it to Mullin. come on Mullin, you do have the speed you do have everything Mullin, come on Mullin. Come on, let's go man this guy is so good so good he's definitely gonna help us to receive a promotion this season come on they're pressing us so much man look at here we cannot even catch a breath here this is so ridiculously how good they're playing right now and how are they actually destroying us currently but ben foster ben foster is keeping us in the game come on demir come on demir come on demir oh the idea was great but the pass was definitely not for this guy it was for merlin but demir is also playing really nice man i enjoy using him so much so far like I genuinely enjoy using our youth players, man. Like, Tywar is really good. Demir is really good. So maybe we can actually rely on even more youth players. But here, another great miss. We're super lucky that the result is still 1-0 for us. Like, they're destroying us. Oh, this was dangerous. And here, Ben Foster couldn't save it. It was clear, man. They had so many good opportunities. Of course, they're gonna score at some point. But here, ah, this is so tough that we missed it, man. Here, look at it. Good finish from them, to be honest. To Ben Foster was really close, but oh no, oh no, why is Demir injured, man? Come on, bro. Oh no, if they score here, the second. Nice, Ben Foster. Why Demir picked up an injury, man? I really don't know what is it, how this happened, but I really hope it's not going to be serious. So far, he's looking all right, to be honest with you, but we need to find out after the game how is it going to be with him and his condition. Come on, guys. Come on, fight, fight. We need here somehow to win a game. No. Wow. How we didn't block it, man? Like, honestly... Ah, they turned it. They turned it. Here I really thought, like, look at the swipe tackle. It was perfect, but it was too early, man. It was too early. And here Ben Foster couldn't manage to do nothing. Wow, we're gonna lose our second game for today's episode where we're playing. This is definitely not great, man. Like, 100% not great. But wait, wait just a second. Maybe here Demir can do something. No, he doesn't have any support at all. Ah, tough loss to be honest with you guys, but this is part of the game. Like, we're gonna lose so many games probably at the early stages of this career mode, but we're gonna bounce back, man, for sure. Here we got lucky that it was not even 3-1 for them, so 2-1 for them. 
fair play. Let's move to the next one. We bounce back with a 3-0 win to Newport County. And with a 2-1 win against a Barrow. And Stewart cannot stop scoring, man. He scored another two goals. What a player we managed to find. For sure, this is like a new Rooney potential player, man. And after nine games, we're sitting in the third place, which is pretty good. But our next game is going to be versus Steven H. So I'm going to definitely play this game. But so far, it's looking really good, man. Like, no draws at all. So it, either we win it or we lose it. But in my opinion, it's looking really, really nice. Look at Lucas Tyler. He's already 66 overall plus one. And he's actually our top goal scorer, man. With six goals and two assists. Amazing performance from him. Merlin, four goals, zero assists. But not that bad. But this guy, man. This guy is definitely playing really, really good. And you actually suggest me to actually change him to a striker. But... I don't think that he has these abilities to be a striker. Maybe it's going to be a good decision to actually change him because he can be even better than what he is right now. So should we do it? Yeah, if you're suggesting that, let's just try him as a striker and let's see how he's going to be there. Here a win will definitely going to put us in a great spot, to be honest with you, because we're going to get closer and closer to the first place. And we're also going to get further from them with who are there, basically fifth right now. So here a good result will definitely going to be super helpful for us ooh, ooh, ooh. nice tackle but they're doing skill moves Oof, we survived here guys we definitely survived here come on come on but it's looking dangerous man they're having so many great opportunities like in the previous game that we actually lost so beautiful interception here and now tyler now tyler with some space tyler with some space palmer nice nice what a finish what a finish man come on we're taking here the lead palmer did here everything perfect but the run of our midfielder was unreal let's go we're taking here the lead Ooh, ooh, dangerous tackle. I really hope this is not going to be a red card. Come on, referee. Don't give us a red card, man. It should be a yellow. It should be a yellow, but I can understand if you give us a red. And I think it's only a yellow. Yeah, it's only a yellow card. Nothing serious. Ooh, ooh, mistakes are made here. We need to rely on our f f Ben Foster. No. Ah, man, ah, man, the defense is going to be a huge problem here. Look at it. I made a bad mistake, but we couldn't, we couldn't manage to stop him. So 1-1, one, one. least is actually scoring from all people. Come on, come on, guys, fight, fight. We need a good result here against them. They are like contender for the playoff position, man. Ooh, 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 read. Nice, Ben Foster. Good that we do have Ben Foster, man. Like, it's such a privilege having him at the squad. I really don't know what we're gonna do if we had also 62, 63 rated, like, goalkeeper. This is gonna be a disaster, but fair play. We do have Ben Foster, and now look at us. Look at us. Merlin here, completely wide open. Merlin here. Give it to Tyler. No, to Tyler, bro. To Tyler, bro. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just before the half time expires, we're making it 2 1. Let's go. Come on, there with 10 men, man. We should definitely win this game right now. We do have 2 1 lead there with 10 men. Everything is looking perfect. Let's just not like borrow the game. And please, guys, please, we need that if we want to achieve a promotion already in the first season in League 2. But no, don't let them do that, bro. Nice tackle here. Oh, what a great tackle. And now O'Connor. Look at O'Connor. Look at O'Connor. No one can catch him. To Mendy. To Mullin. No, bad pass, man. Bad pass. If this was like someone better, probably maybe it could have been a good pass, but... Ah, uh, we miss here a great opportunity and look what type of chance they do have right now. Should we actually foul him? Mm, three versus one. Ah, man, the bad pass from Mandy cost us here. This goal, bro. This was definitely not a great attack here for us. Wow, what a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is super dangerous. No, oh, there with 10 men, man. Please. Oh, Ben Foster, what a save. No, please don't. No, no, man. No. How they actually managed to score two goals when they do have only 10 men, bro? Wow, this is so bad from us. Like, we're bottling it here, guys. We're honestly bottling it here. Wow, we're gonna lose to a team with 10 men, bro. Like, how is this even possible? But maybe now, maybe Merlin can actually recover it. Merlin, come on, Merlin. Do something magical, Merlin. Do something magical, Merlin. 
Tywar, no, 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 we borrow it, we borrow it. Very tough, but at least we managed to win the game versus the last team right now in the division. So with this win, hopefully we can actually climb a little bit in the ladder. The wins are continuing, man. I think we, with simulating it looking miles, miles better rather than us playing it. But we are winning here another game versus Carlis United, which is a great thing. So we pick up back-to-back -back wins here. Last game for today's episode is gonna be versus Crowley Town. I really hope here we can pick a good result because they are 10th in the league and we're currently, I do believe, 4th. So let's see how the boys are gonna perform. Oh no, one of our plays is lying on the ground, bro. Come on, man. Be some, like, have some fair play, bro. Our player was lying on the ground and you're even like celebrating like that. Come on, stop the game, referee. Like, what is that, bro? Look at our player. He's lying there on the ground. This is so unfair. Like, honestly, so unfair. And of course, they're not going to let us score. But this is probably one of the biggest robbery right now that I saw in the FIFA, man. Like, how was this not even a go like a foul or injury? Or I really don't know. The referee should have stopped the game here a thousand times. Ah, it's so bad right now. This is definitely so bad. But O'Connor! Oh, we nearly equalized here. Come on. We need to actually win right now, man. This will motivate us even more, I do believe. Tyler, Tyler, come on, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. Pick up your role, man. Pick up your role in this team. O'Connor! Ah, man. The goalkeeper is saving everything. Come on, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. Deliver, 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 deliver the perfect ball. Merlin. To Palmer, to Palmer. Nope. Come on, Palmer. Come on, Palmer. You are so clunky. At least score, bro. Be Haaland for us. Oh, Lee. Can Lee actually score from there? Can Lee score from there? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Come on. Let's beat them, man. This unfair team. Like, how can you score when our player was lying on the ground, bro? This definitely doesn't deserve for respect from us. Mm, those are here. Those are here. No. Good as we managed to actually survive in this situation. Come on, guys. Can we actually score the second? We definitely deserve the second goal here versus this team. They're so unfair. Ooh. Ooh. No. Tyler, you should have passed better, bro. You should have passed 100% better. Let's see here for the what he can do. Okay. Not bad. Now to Lee. Now, Palmer, come on, Palmer, you do... No, Palmer, come on, man. You cannot even run, jump, nothing, bro. Oh, give it to Mullin. Come on, Mullin. Come on, Mullin. It's up to you, bro. It is up to you, Mullin. No, oh, he doesn't have the speed. Is this actually going to be our first draw for the season? It is looking like that, but there's still a little bit of time. Maybe we can actually lose the game. Ben Foster. Ben Foster completely hero. Like, 100% our hero so far. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! So after 13 games, we're sitting in the fourth spot, really far away from the first, to be honest with you. Nine points, no, eight points already behind the first place is a lot of points, but we're only two points away from the third place, which is basically our aim, I do believe, for this season. So, so far, it's looking good, but I really hope next episode we can actually improve from this position. I really hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.